Hello. We thought we'd to burn a market. Aren't we good? So we parked in a car park, pound display, £2.50 for up to three hours. I don't feel we'll be here that long, as long as three hours. And then in the car park, it's outside the car park, got a restaurant there, Socius. And they are your public toilets. Open, Sammy's just been in, a little Eskimo, and it looks very clean. Ooh, hooses. Are they for rent or are they for sale? Now, rentals they are. Rent rentals, right, there's a map here. Let's go and have a look at the map, because we've never been here before. Oh, the coastal holiday retreat, that is. Never been here before, don't know what it's like. Might not be here that long, but we'll have a look. Crikey. I'm just zoom around here so you can have a pause and a look. So when I'm putting these up, these things, you can put, put it on pause and have a look. Oh, it looks like there's a fair bit here. Oh no, fish and chips. There we go. And that's what's here. State agents. Hat shop. Mm, outdoor store. <laughs> Didn't see any charity shops. Bookshop, lovely jubbly. So let's take you in, into the town, see, see what's here. As I say, never been here before. But, first impressions, it looks really, really nice and quaint. I think you're gonna like this. Show you about it, eh? So we've just come out of that car park, turned left, because there's a few shops up here. Cool, flipping hell, they've got some wine in there. Wine, spirits and beers in there. Christ, there's loads in there. Little boutique clothing shop. This is called Barefoot Living. It's like a homewares store. Do you have a look in there? No? Mm, Alright. It's quite nice in there. That looks a bit snazzy, that urban armour. It's all jewellery in there. Look at that, it's a fair old shop, isn't it? Might bother going in there because it'll probably be bleeding expensive. Antique shop. Shut. Oh, there's an art supply there, I wanted to get some acrylic paints. Oh, that is closed. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, something smells nice and carbohydrate -y. It looks like up here there's a Ford or Fjord. Where that car's just going. That's quite nice here. Oh, that smells lovely. Tuscan farm shop. Wine bar, kitchen and deli. And it looks very boutique around here. Really nice. You've got your hams and your cheeses, etc. in there. Pop in there for a coffee in a bit. I don't, it's not a great big place, it's only a little place. Burnham Market, but very, very pretty. See the little terrace cottages there. Let's get across the road without getting run over. Wee! Quick, 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 quick. Some of these little cottages here, they're flipping beautiful. What have we got here? Fairfax Gallery. Norfolk living kitchens and interiors. Ooh, holiday cottages then. We got down here. Gifts, toys and confectionery. Oh, it's a hat shop. Oh, that's that shop in front, yeah. It's a sweetie shop. And books, if we go have a look in. I think I'm 
I'm going to go in the outdoor store. I think you'll find Barbers and Hunter Wellies. Let's just leave it at that. All right, let's wait for Sammy to get out of here. And I'll take you around the corner. Great outdoors. Let's have a look in here. Can you? Oh, yeah. Take dogs in here. Let's go and have a look. All right, let's just say the outdoor shoppy type thing was a tad dear. If you want to spend uh, 300 quid on a tweed waistcoat, that's your place. Not my cup of tea. Got tweed waistcoats. I don't know whether that's a river running down the road. Oh, I think it's a river running down the road. <gasps> oh my God, look what I've just seen over there. There's only a seafood store here. <laughs> yes, result. It's not the kind of place for a charity shop. Let me say that. There's some people here again, doing some painting. They were the ones that you would have seen in the last video. Doing the painting, same bloke. There we go, this is sort of what it's like here. When you look at the, the brands on there, Ralph Lauren, Gant, Hackett, Barber and Gun Hill. So that's what you're, that's what you're looking at. But I think that was like a flipping river running down here. Through the old, what's this? Bombay Sprout. Sammy's gonna go and have a look in there. You wanna go and have a look? Here's the hat shop we see on the sign. Well, that's good, that's Stetson. My son Connor loves these hats, Stetson hats. Like the trucker's hats. Kiddies toys. It's quite nice in there. What's that there? Joss sticks. Dogs are welcome downstairs. Let's go and have a look. There you go. Do you want one of them hats to put on the back partial shelf of your car? And a box of tissues? That's what you usually have, isn't it? Oh, I like them. Yeah, there's loads of stuff in here. Very nice little shop. And there's an upstairs to it as well, but you can only take the dogs downstairs. So I'm gonna have a look around and see what's here. It's really nice in that shop. And here's the butchers, proper butchers. It must be the similar one to down the road, I reckon. Because it's got all the rabbit skins in that outside. And a bit of veg. Ooh, might have to have a look in there. Let's have a quick oochie scoochie down here a little bit. Walk down to that church and then back along that side of the street. Let's go have a look at the butchers. All right. Look at that. It's a bit, a bit posh. That's beautiful. Look at the growth there. It's amazing. So we're just heading down here to the church. St Henry's Catholic Church, a do like church in Norfolk. Beautiful one there. But that's sort of the end of the high street. There. So I'm really interested. Look at that beautiful little cottages up there, look. And then ones. Cracking the name. I'm a bit interested in where all this water's coming from. I think it's a river. It is a river. Yeah. And it just flows down through the road. and down the side of the road. Look at that, that's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, like that. Come here. Isn't that lovely? 
that is crystal clear, that water. And it goes all the way down there, look, like a little river. Have a drink. It's a beautiful big pub. The Hosty Arms, the Host Arms. That's lovely. Full of ladies that lunch. A couple of people doing painting again there. You can sit here and you're paddling. You can have a paddle and have a beer at the same time. Yeah, it goes down the side of the road there, yeah. Yeah, it's mad that, I like that. What a lovely little feature. It is so pretty round here. Really pretty. Anna, it's like a boutique ladies shop. What's this? Jack Wills, manufacturers and dealers of superior yachting equipment. Some nice stuff in there. Oh, nice. Proper old telephone box, and I like the way of what they do is around here they put telephone boxes and they either have a defibrillator in them or that's full of books. That one, like a little books, book share system. Let's have a look. What's up here? My book for sale here 22 pounds. Jane Murph, Polar Bound Through the Northwest pa Passage. I bet that's an interesting book. Obviously, whoever lives there has got a few quid. How golden retrievers. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, there's one there just been sold for three million if you want one of those. Yeah, million, million, million. I think we'll leave that one. <gasps> Gurney's Fish Shop. Happy days, I'm gonna go and have a look in there now. Ooh. Have to buy some stuff out of here. Look at that. Looks well nice. There's a bit of a delicatessen up here, let's have a look. Ooh. Yeah, that's really nice in there. And to be honest with you, I've still got a fridge full of seafood, so I didn't really need anything, to be honest with you. So I didn't get anything, weirdly enough. Another bar and restaurant. Ah, oh, beautiful doggy accessories. It's got in there. Uh, I think I'm going down here, mate. That's all right. I'll lighten it up, I think, in a little while. <laughs> Cheers. Look at him. Very nice. Oh, look. Some stuff in there, a little stuff of Chico. Very nice. Beauty Salon. Beer. So that's where that river runs down there. So yeah, ain't a little place. But I thought I'd bring you here for a walk. Uttings. There's a gun shop called Uttings. What's this? Kitchenware, homeware, cookware, baskets, fresh produce, DIY and electrical. Now you wouldn't think so in that little shop, would you? I bet it's a little Aladdin's cave in there. And next door, God, it is. Look how far in that goes. Huge. Let Sammy have a look around in there for a second. And there's a bookshop. Right. Two shops I want to go in. Dog friendly. This is mega in here. Look at all this lot. Huge amounts of stuff. Oh wow, I'm gonna switch off. Yeah, so it's a little tea room there, and that's it. Another boutique shop. And there you go, took you around Burnham. I'm gonna to go to Deepdale now, which is just up the road. Because I'm gonna go back in that nature shop. If I come all the way here, I might as well go in there, mightn't I? Right, Burnham deep down now. So, Burnham Market is back towards the campsite. It's about 40 minutes from the campsite. And Burnham deep down 
there's a little bit further on. Yeah, there's a nice shop here, supermarket. So I'm going to go in there, get a few bits. But I was, as I was only five minutes away, I'm going to go in this nature shop. Those of you that have been watching my video for some time, you will know that. But I'm just going to go and have a look, see what I can find. See if there's anything good in here. But yeah, nice little day out so far. There's um, some nice places here. If you park there where I parked opposite the garage and walk straight forward, you end up on the marshlands and it's really nice walk along there. But this is a fab shot, this is. All sorts of nature stuff, nature watching stuff. One stop nature shot. So you've got all books, binoculars, bird feeding gear. It's all wildlife watching stuff in here. Well worth a look. Didn't spend a penny. No seafood, nothing in a nature shop. It's a problem when you've got pretty much everything. That's why it's so difficult to buy presents for. Right, let's go in the shop. Get some meat. And then make our way back. And I'm going to work out where I'm going to take you next. JP's gripe of the day. This is the part you all look forward to. JP's gripe of the day. Paper bag, a paper bag in Morrison's, 30 pence. Morrison's, I'm disgusted with you. Absolutely ridiculous. What are you supposed to do? Carry it in your arms after you've just spent an extortionate amount of money in there. And you've got to pay 30 pence for a paper bag. Now this was brought in so people didn't buy out plastic bags. Now you're charging 30 flipping pence for a paper bag. That's disgusting. Morrison's, you should be flipping ashamed of yourselves. JP's gripe of the day. It's like Burner Market, nice there, isn't it? Right, nice little town. But we've gone from posh to peregrines. <laughs> Just outside Cromer Church. Let me show you what we're looking at. So that's what we're looking at. And the peregrines are on the top. The female's on the nest and the male is on that spire there. I believe it's the male, the tearsaw is up there. So, I'm going to attempt to get you some footage and some photographs. How do you like that? Good to you and I. But, beautiful birds. We've seen one fly out, which I presume is the male. I would think the female is sitting on a nest. So, I'm going to keep my eye out, see if I can get you some pictures. Sammy's over there sitting on a wall. We're here with our lovely friends, Paul and Janet. They've come out of us for the day. They've, we've brought them into uh, Chroma so they can have a mooch round. So they're having a mooch round the shops. And I'm watching Peregrine Falcons. <laughs> Much better deal. But there is a nice seafood store here, so I'm gonna go in there. So, there's Sammy over there, look. Sitting there, waving with Raven. But, he's right up there. So I'm going to hang around here and see if I can get some shots. Let's get over here. That's lovely chroma. I did a video here before. I think Dan and Mazzy was with us, so I put a link to that up. But he's sitting right up there. I'll put a bit of footage in there so you can see him a bit closer. Now today, I've got my 100 to 500 on my R5, telephoto zoom, because I didn't want to be too weighed down. But I've also got a 1.4 teleconverter on it. So gives me a really good reach. And also I can swing it about quick because these birds are flipping rapid, as you all know. I'll put some facts up about them down the bottom. Uh, I thought I'd bring you here to see what we can see, eh? Right, let's get stuck into the peregrines. Right, I'm still looking. 
I'm going to be walking around with me flipping neck crit. It's a bit windy, a bit cold. I'm standing like this for the last half an hour. And he ain't moved. Just met a lovely lady, a subscriber, Mandy. Thanks for watching, darling. Give you a sticker. If you ever see me mooching around, I've usually got stickers in my pocket. So don't forget, come up and ask for a sticker. I won't charge you, you're fine. But he's up there still, I'll spin you around. He's up there. He's fluffed up, he's probably been feeding this morning, so he's probably up there digesting his dinner with a female on a nest. But I'm just gonna have to stand here, see if he does anything. See what I'll do for you lot. Took off, he weren't hanging about. He weren't hanging about, that's the problem with watching these. They flipping shift. He's flown into the sun, so it weren't worth following him into the sun with my camera. I'll just get like a crappy silhouette shot. So I'm just gonna have to hang around longer, see if I can get him coming back. But if you look, There's pigeons flying everywhere now. He's spooked all these pigeons. But he went off, caught the wind, straight round the side of the church, back of church. All the pigeons flew out from the back of the church and he went woof, over there. Like a flipping rocket. Right, uh, give me neck a rest. I'll see if he lands again. Has he landed again up there? I think he might have landed again. Didn't even see him fly in, he must have flown in from the back of the church. See if I can get a shot of that. Right, he's flown round, and he's landed a bit lower now. Still not in a very good spot. But it's nice to see when he's flying around. Flipping motorbikes. He's up there.
flown down. It might, I think he's just dropped down onto the nest with a female. But he's been on that peak there for quite some time. Right. He zoomed off right in front of the sun, so I couldn't photograph him. And then he must have gone right away round and come back on the back of the church. And then the next second he was there again. It's like, oh, typical. <laughs> Yeah, he's got, I think they've got two or three eggs at the moment up there. They've got four in Norwich, I think. All right, so he's up there. He's just caught something. It looked like a starling, so he's pulling the feathers out of it at the moment. There's feathers flying around everywhere up there. They're so quick. I managed to rattle off a few shots. So if they turn any good, I'll stick them up. He's up there, I'll see if I can keep an eye out for him. Sammy's distracted, she's not taking no notice of me. He's up there. I just have to keep looking up in the air. That's the problem, when you stand here looking up in the air like this, you get so many people go, what are you looking at? What's up there? So I quite often stop and show them the photographs. Well, I'll keep on. So I'm just walking around the outside of the church there. It's really beautiful here. Yeah. It's a beautiful church, but he's up there somewhere. I'm just having a walk around, see if I can see him. But Chris, Skipper, one of my mates who's a sort of, he's the daddy of the peregrines in Norwich and Cromer, told me to come and stand over by the, by the museum. And this is the museum end. But I think there's a couple of birds up here. A couple of different ones because I've just seen one really high up. It's like basically specked out in the clouds. But this one here has just come back and as I said, it had a starling or something, smallish bird in its talons. And he's up there feeding on it now because his feathers flying everywhere. But walking around like this all day, watching peregrine falcons, you're gonna need a chiropractor the next day. Oh, God. Hope you appreciate all this. had a bit of a flurry of excitement. There must be a little shelf up there. As we've looked back up and then it's sitting on a ledge. Got some photographs of that and a bit of footage, I'll show you that in, a, in the next shots. He's disappeared again now. My neck hurts. <laughs>
Right, so we just had a bit of lunch, a lovely jubbly, a little cafe around the corner. I had a couple of sausages, a couple of bits of bacon, a couple of eggs. Protein. No carbs. But I've just come out for a final little bit of time with the TSL. I'll show you where he is. He's up at the top there. Right about there. And he's doing what he's done most of the day. Sitting there fluffed up. He's had a couple of bits of food. But he's just sort of sitting there really watching the pigeons go by. What a lovely bird. And if I can get some pictures of that off of Chris, I'll put them up as well so you can enjoy them. Uh, not been a bad day. This is what it's like here. But he, he was like The gardens are beautiful. You can see them gardens there. Absolutely stunning. So that's what it's like to go watching Peregrine Falcons, basically. You know, like that all day. My neck's going to hurt tomorrow. Here's up here. I'll get a few more bits and pieces of him before we go. I hope you enjoyed that video. Oh, please check if you're subscribed or not. Loads of people on YouTube are getting unsubscribed. You can still see my videos, but when you're getting a subscribe bit, you're unsubscribed. Hit that subscribe button because I'm like 50 people subscribed, 50% percent unsubscribed. So it's a 50 50 at the moment to subscribers, to unsubscribers or non subscribers watching my videos, which is weird. So I think they've unsubscribed you. So just go on, just check that little subscribe button to see if you've been subscribed or not, or unsubscribed if it if the case may be. But anyway, I'll get off now. You take care, you stay safe, and you stay sane. I'll catch you on the next one. Look after yourselves, eh? Bye. Thank you.